For a phone that sold out in its first week of launch and sold 100,000 units in just 3 hours of getting launched, this budget phone called the CMF Phone 1 is making serious wave in the smartphone market. But is it just hype or is there something special here? Well buckle up because we are about to find out. So first thing first, what the heck is CMF? It's actually a sub-brand of nothing. You know, that uh, company started by Carpel after he left OnePlus. Their whole deal is making budget devices with a focus on design and software. And boy, did they deliver on that promise with the CMF Phone 1. Now, let's start with the design because that's where the phone really shines. At first glance, it looks like your typical smartphone. Uh, flat size, decent sized bezels uh, around the display, dual cameras on the back. But then you notice something weird. There is a little knob at the bottom corner. And those screws all around the edges, uh, they are not just for show. Here's where it gets cool. Like the back panel is completely removable and swappable. Like you've got options like black, orange, blue, and this funky light blue green color. See, it's giving me major throwback vibes to the days of removable phone backs but with a modern twist. And the best part, you can mix and match the colors to make it your own. It's like the grown-up version of those interchangeable uh, Nokia covers we had back in the day. Now, about the knob, it's actually a mounting point for accessories. Uh, CMF's got a few options like a kickstand, a card holder wallet, and even a lanyard if you are into that. It's a neat little system, though swapping them out does take a little bit of work, with the screwdriver. And here's a pro tip. The back actually works with MagSafe accessories too, like pretty sneaky CMF. The build quality is decent for a budget phone. Sure, it's plastic, but it feels sturdy when it's all put together. Just be careful when you are swapping backs. Uh, that plastic can feel a bit flimsy when it's off the phone. And yeah, with removable bars come less water resistance. It's only IP52 rated, so don't go dunking this inside a pool. Now, moving on to the display, we've got a 6.5 inch AMOLED panel that can hit 120Hz refresh rate. Like, it's actually pretty impressive for this price point. Uh, colors are vibrant, uh, blacks are deep, and it can get bright enough to use outdoors without squinting your eyes. Now, the adaptive refresh rate is smooth, ranging from 60Hz to 120Hz, depending on what you're doing. It's not quite as buttery as a flagship, but for everyday use, is more than adequate. Okay, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The CMF Phone 1 is rocking a MediaTek Dimensity 7300 chip with a 6 or 8 gig of RAM, 128 or 256 gig of storage, which you can actually expand with a micro SD card up to 2 terabytes. It's not going to win any benchmark contest, uh, but for everyday tasks, it holds its own pretty well. Like scrolling through social media, checking emails, uh, light web browsing, all smooth as butter. You can even do some light gaming, though don't expect to be running Genshin Impact at uh, max setting, if you get what I mean. One of the standout features of this phone is actually the software. It's running on uh, Nothing OS 2.6 which is basically stock Android with some cool customization from nothing. Now, you've got all the features from the pricier nothing phones, uh, stuff like cloned apps, game mode, and some slick widgets. Using this phone, you will actually forget that you are using a budget device half the time. Now, the software experience is clean, snappy, and refreshingly bloatware free. It's a breath of fresh air in the budget phone market where you often get bagged down with pre-installed apps and clunky UI skins. Now, CMF promises two years of Android updates and three years of security patches, which is pretty decent for this price range. Now, let's talk cameras. The CMF Phone 1 has a dual camera setup on the back, a 50 megapixel main sensor, and a depth sensor. Now up front, you've got a 16 megapixel selfie camera. Now let's be real, you are not getting flagship level photos here. But for a $200 phone, the results are surprisingly decent. In good lighting, you can get some nice shots with good color and detail. The portrait mode does a decent job with edge detection thanks to that depth sensor. Well, low light performance, um, well, 
Well, it's just there. You'll get usable shots, but don't expect miracles. There is no OIS, so you need steady hands in dimmer conditions. Now, video capabilities are basic but functional. Like you can shoot up to 4K at 30 FPS, which is nice to have at this price point. The electronic image stabilization does an okay job of keeping things steady. But again, don't expect gimbal-like smoothness, right? Battery life is a strong point for the CMF Phone 1. With its 5000 mAh cell, you can easily get through the day of moderate use with some juice to spare. Now, heavy users might need to top up before bedtime, but for most folks, this should be an all day phone. It supports that 3 watt fast charging, which isn't the fastest out there but gets the job done. Like a full charge takes about an hour and a half. Now it's not all sunshine and rainbows, like this is a $200 phone. So there are some compromises. You get, there, there's no wireless charging, no NFC, I mean, well not a lot of people use it. And uh, the vibration motto is, um, uh, well, let's just say it's there. Now, the single speaker isn't great and it's super easy to accidentally cover it up. You get, I mean, you are supposed to have a stereo speaker. Now, the in-display fingerprint sensor works, but it's not the fastest most have used. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries to register. Uh, face unlock is available, but it's the less secure to the variety if you get but here's the thing i actually understand the trade-offs that cmf made here like they focused on giving us a unique design clean software and a smooth experience for everyday use and for 200 dollars that's pretty impressive okay let's talk about who this phone is for i mean if you're a hardcore gamer or a photography enthusiast this probably isn't the device for you but if you're looking for a solid budget phone that can handle your day-to-day -day tasks uh, without breaking a sweat and you want something with a bit of personality, the CMF Phone 1 is definitely worth considering. Now it's great for students, first-time smartphone buyers or anyone who wants a capable phone without breaking the bank. The customizable design is a fun bonus that lets you express your style a bit. So to wrap things up, is the CMF Phone 1 perfect? Nah, mm, it's not perfect, but it is one of the most interesting budget phones to come out in a while. I absolutely, it's got a unique design, a clean software, decent performance, and it won't empty your wallet. Like the fact that it sold out in its first week tells me that there's definitely a market for this kind of device. So what do you guys think? Are you digging the customizable design or is it just a gimmick? Would you consider a CMF Phone 1 for your next budget device? Let me know in the comment section below. And hey, if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more tech reviews. Uh, I've got plenty more devices to cover so stay tuned. Uh, until next time, I am Eugene and uh, this is Brandalux.